All right, guys, Gemini, back with another video. And in this video today, where do WWE DVDs stand in uh, 2015? Um, well, I can tell you that being a pro wrestling DVD collector and has basically transitioned to more from wanting to get the DVD uh, <clears throat> how do I put this I can't get the words out okay basically what I'm trying to say is where DVD stand in 2015 it went from a lot of guys wanting to get the DVD because they knew that they wouldn't be able to see the footage any other way to a lot of guys who started collecting these just as a hobby because they have other access other avenues to the show so a lot of guys in the past would buy a pro wrestling DVD because they were afraid that they were going to get shut out and not be able to see the footage, the past footage, uh, you know, at their leisure. So a lot of guys in 2015, as opposed to past years, this became just something to collect, something to do, as opposed to wanting to see the footage. That's where I feel like pro wrestling DVD collecting has changed in 2015. Um, for me, collecting them uh, has transitioned from me wanting to go home and watch them right away. It's transitioned into me more so wanting to build my collection up and keep them around in case I ever wanted to see them. As opposed to, oh my god, I gotta get that today, otherwise I'm shut out. So, I've even changed with the times in 2015. With the advent of the WWE Network, it, it really changed the game. It's so really all we are here on YouTube is like a little DVD collecting family you guys come here to see what I'm doing what I'm collecting not so much because you're almost there for information you guys are almost there because it's it's interesting to see someone who still cares so much about pro wrestling DVDs so things have changed some for the better some for the worse I mean the worst because especially on pay-per-view DVDs uh, things have really fallen off the map, fallen off the charts. It's almost like nobody cares about collecting the pay-per-view uh, DVDs anymore. Barely anyone cares about this. So people, I think, come to my channel because they like to see that I still care about that. But trying to find people who collects money in the bank and pay back, it's just not special to a lot of people anymore because everybody has a network. It's just not special to people anymore. It's changed a lot in 2015. It's changed a lot, some good, some worse. It's become more of a uh, like a habit, like treasure collecting, than something that you need to see the footage. And that's how I feel that WWE DVDs stand in 2015 with the advent of the WWE Network. So I'm curious to get your guys' thoughts on how you feel WWE DVDs are doing in 2015. I mean, <laughs> there's always gonna be the guy that says, oh, they're doing shitty because nobody cares because everybody has a network. You gotta put a little deeper thought into it. Why, how, and where uh, exactly did things change? Like I just did in this video. So I'm Gemini, thank you for watching, peace out.